what up my name is Derek and today I'm going to show you guys the best settings for exit lag. So to download exit lag all you got to do is just go to the website, well, I'll link it in the description for you guys too, um, and you want to do three, uh, the free 3 day trial. If you've never touched exit lag in your life, um, you'll be able to do a, a 3 day trial, but if you've already tried it before you can't get another 3 day trial because it's linked through IP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video on how to get unlimited free trials after this video and I'll have it uploaded today as well. This video will go out today and then the video about the uploaded um, or the free trial I'll upload a couple hours after. Okay, so once you have this downloaded and made account and everything, um, open it up. You'll have to install it and then enter your computer. So you're going to be prompted with this screen. It might analyze your routes right away. Just let it do its thing. It'll take a couple seconds. Once that's done, I recommend going to Tools, going to General here, and then just making sure you have the settings that I have. So just make sure it's start automatically with, window, window, with, with Windows, um, enable uh, exit lag on Start, and then also minimize exit lag to System Tray. What this means is it'll just if you press this X, it'll just go to System Tray right here. I also recommend real-time optimizations. Um, you can turn Smart Optimizations. This is what it does right here. So you might want to turn this on if you have maybe not the greatest internet. Um, and if you also don't have great internet, also do enable high QoS priority. Uh, the next thing is FPS boost. Uh, to apply some of these, you might have to reach your computer too. But I recommend uh, this this one. This is maximum priority for your games. And then also this one. Um, also this one. I think it I think it automatically recommends this when you actually install Exalag. So just make sure you turn that on. Uh, you can also disable game bar and game DVR. I recommend doing that as well. I'm not going to turn it off because I don't need to because I don't have it on my computer. Um, core parking, you also want to do that too. This will um, make your CPUs run at like the maximum performance possible. Um, you also can disable Windows Defender if you don't use it. Uh, I recommend if you use it, then keep it on. Uh, if you don't use it, then disable it. I've already have mine disabled in the Windows and deleted it entirely, so I don't have to worry about that. Superfast is another thing. Uh, disable this. This is pretty big. Um, with boot times and stuff like that. Um, if you have problems, just re-enable it. Okay. There's nothing really else in here. Uh, you can also you can monitor your ping if you want to do it here, but there's really nothing else you can do in exit lag in the settings. The next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to our game. So for me, we're gonna do Fortnite. I'll also show you Valorant and maybe some other programs too. Excuse me. Um, so we're gonna go to Fortnite here, and so for servers. So this work gets a little tricky. So I live in Minnesota, so I my closest server would be here, Ohio. Now, in the settings, I get around 33 for Ohio and Ashburn, pretty much the same exact um, when I do a trace route. But when I do a test through here, it's different. So Auburn or Ashburn, for this one, I get 26, 26, 27, 26, right? If I go to Ohio, I get 19. Okay, it's usually 18, 19 around this. Right, my ping is zero in creative. It's, it's it's around five or six with Ashburn in creative, right? But keep in mind that the number that you're getting in the top left on the counter that Fortnite has, it's not correct. Whatever your settings say. Now with exit lag, if you start your game, you're not gonna your your ping in the settings won't change. It won't it won't change that for some reason because it doesn't connect until you actually connect it to a server. Um, because how the settings ping works is when you open your game. It pings it, but exit lag doesn't actually, your uh, connection doesn't get route, routed through exit lag until you actually join a game like Creative or Arena. That's how it works. So, um, I'm pretty sure it used to work, where once you open the game it would work. That's how it used to work, but it doesn't do that anymore. So I recommend um, trying this. Whatever the ping right here, whatever the estimated ping, this is what the ping you get in settings. That's how I've seen it. So Ohio, I get 19, so I want it on Ohio. But since I don't know if Arena has Ohio servers, I think it does, but I think when you play tournaments, it's going to be all Ashburn servers, at least if you play East. Now, if you play West, it's a whole different story. It's all just based on you. Um, but for now, I'm going to keep it on recommended. You can change it to you know specific servers, but it is recommended to do automatic. Now, for TCP routes, UDP routes, and ICMP routes, these are all just... Um, recommended at what they're set right now because this is what exit lag prefers it's because whenever you go to other programs these are different so whatever you have here is recommended okay 
and uh, you just want to press on apply, apply routes and then it'll show up here now if it doesn't show up here when you open your thing just all, all you have to do is just make sure this red circle is enabled a couple other things too if it doesn't work when you're in game or you want to change servers while you're in creative or something all you have to do is just enable this and then re-enable it it'll tell you that the connection route will get dis disconnected your game you won't be able to move or anything you'll lose connection for a second and then it'll come back like five five to ten seconds later and you'll be good you'll be able to move around that's only in creative you can't do that in an actual game keep that in mind now we can do this like the discord we have discord we can do so if i select a region i can use the same servers so like chicago i get 10 ping ashburn i get 26 ping as you can see so i can change my server ping now with discord i get around 18 to 19 ping when i connect to server or connect to a server and test a ping when i do this you can see my ping is around around 11 so definitely lower but for discord there's really no point in lower ping valorant you can also do as well so ashburn you can see ping there chicago see ping there so for me i get around 15 ping in uh valorant i also recommend redirect your login connection and then use this as well so these are the important things okay um then you, then you can click these and press apply to right go to these if you want um, that's pretty much it. How to use Eggs Like Eggs Like is pretty easy to use. They have a ton of games here, tons and tons of games. You can even sort by other things. So if you want a browser, or you want your you know Discord or something, or maybe you want a Epic Games launcher, or maybe you want a certain launcher or something, or emulator, or maybe stream it through OBS. Uh, I don't think OBS works like that though. I'm not really sure the point of this. But, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on how to set up Eggs Like. Like I said, I'll be making a video on how to get unlimited free trials after this video. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys liked the video, and uh, peace out.